Today on Newsbreak, we have coverage of the Power of Choice program that took over SLHS yesterday and this morning. And Jacob Boss has our rain total from yesterday and the risk of flooding heading into the weekend. All this and more on this Thursday, April 28th. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Tyler Dennis. And I'm Eric Hynitz. We start today with our main story, which involves Tyler. The Power of Choice program took over SLHS yesterday with the crash scene, ER scene, and courtroom scene, leading to the deaths of Tyler and Kelsey Doverday. This is all to prevent drinking and driving ahead of prom for next week. And Tyler will tell us a little bit about the experience that you had. So you died yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I died. What was it like? What was some um, emotions? It wasn't that hard at the beginning in the, in the accident, I mean, just kind of act it out and you kind of just hope that you can impact someone and then it started getting harder at the at the ER scene when my family was there and then like the funeral this morning was even worse because my, I don't know, it was just difficult to see families like go through it and uh, yeah, it was, and I think that every 15 minutes was a really powerful thing too, people can kind of see that that. Yeah, every, every 15 minutes a student was taken out of class, mm -hmm. um, white paint on them, and they couldn't talk. So, um, really impactful as far as the whole school goes, too, not just the ones that died in the crash. Yeah, it really yeah. impacted every single little group or grade. Yeah, yeah so. to try to spread it out that way, too. Yeah, and kind of set like different friend groups. So, hopefully, as many people were reached as possible. And how was it reuniting with your family this morning? That was it was nice. I mean, I saw them last night after the ER scene. Like, after the ER scene, it was hard for them, so we hugged and stuff in, in the backstage. And then, like, even though they, we just saw each other yesterday, like, this morning, it was even just... My mom didn't know I was, we were walking down the aisles, and so that kind of really hit her hard. And, uh... It's amazing yeah. how that short amount of time still can cause so much emotion. Yeah. And now it's just the, that speaks to the power of the program, really. Yeah. Because uh, everyone knew that was just a mock, but it's just that. It, yeah, it's just that intensity of it, which I think gets the point across. Yeah. And um, coming up tomorrow, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and kind of show what Tyler and everybody was doing in the whole process and what they were up to at Camp Foster last night. They had a lot of activities going on there. That's all tomorrow on this just news break. All right, moving on to the student body elections that are being held today. Voting is now open via your school email. The voting window closes at 3.30 p.m. today. Your candidates are Ryan Maris and Macy Smith for student body president, Zach Rankin for student body vice president, and Lucy O'Hagan for student body secretary. We'll have those results for you tomorrow on Newsbreak. Finally, happy birthday to those we missed yesterday, including Elijah Griffin, Colby Kendall, and our very own Emily Parks. Happy birthday today to Josie Fagan and Lincoln Belkin. Now I'll send it over to Jacob Boss with today's weather. All right, thanks guys. 1.63 inches of rain yesterday. Very heavy rain moving through the area once again. Check out these stats. Over three and a half inches of rain just this week in Spirit Lake. That puts us at 4.67 for this month. And we should be around three inches. So we are much above average. And we have another inch or two of rain coming this weekend. So a lot of rain around the area. Cloudy around the area today. No drying out there. Very cold as well. 45 degrees at 6 o'clock. Feeling like 37 by 8 o'clock tonight. Those winds will slowly be calming down tonight. Actually pretty nice as far as the winds goes tonight. Northeast, 5 miles an hour. Low of 36 tonight. So another cool night out there. Similar to last night. As we go into the weekend, wind conditions on Saturday with all that heavy rain. Warming up as we go into next week, look at that, dry on Tuesday and Wednesday, 70 degrees on Tuesday. We could be nearing 80 degrees by prom weekend, but for now, back to you guys. Taking a look at sports from Tuesday that we did not get show to show yesterday. The boys and girls tennis team took on Storm Lake. As the girls team traveled to Storm Lake, they were successful in all but one match. In singles, Spirit Lake Okoboji won 5-1, and in doubles, they also took the win 3-0. At home, the boys were also victorious in all but two matches, making it overall in favor of Spirit Lake. Okaboji 7-2. In singles, the boys won 5-1, and doubles also winning 2-1. The boys and girls golf teams were also in action Tuesday night, both for a win. Spirit Lake girls golf was in Spencer, taking on the Tigers and Lamars. As a team, they would be runner-up, scoring 208 points behind Spencer, who had 204. Individually, Abby Newland of Spirit Lake received first place, scoring 45. In Lamars, the boys competed against the Bulldogs and Spencer. Spirit Lake took third as the team with 186 points. There were no medalists for the Spirit Lake side. The boys track team was coming off a big win in Okaboji on Monday night, coming into their meet in Emmitsburg Tuesday night. Five first place finishes included Zach Reichen in the 400 meter dash, Jason Feather in the 400 meter hurdles, Matthew Moody in the long jump, the 4x8 relay team, and the distance medley relay team led to another first place team finish. 
Spirit Lake earned 158.6 points ahead of second place Algoa, who finished 151.6 points. The 4x1 meter relay team will compete at Drake Relays tomorrow in Des Moines. Stay updated today with the latest weather-related announcements on our Twitter, at SLHS Newsbreak, and our website. We will follow the latest postponements slash cancellations of today's events. As of Thursday morning, both golf teams, both tennis teams, and both soccer teams are scheduled to play. As a look at your sports for today, back to you guys. And that's all the time for today. Thanks for watching Newsbreak. Have a great day.